Smith, bring the beat back. Smith Beats. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I have this a little bit colorful look. <laughs> I wanted to tap into fall and you know put a little bit of colors at the same time and I'm feeling this like, you know, this, what do I call this color? It's giving me a little bit of fall vibes even though it could pass for like, you know, a look in the summer. But who cares? Summer, winter. Just play with colors throughout the whole year okay so i just wanted to um try the huda beauty foundation actually so i got the huda beauty foundation in hot fudge and you guys know i got the the sample thing is so i that is the foundation i'm wearing this is what it looks like and yeah so far through the course of the video I like the foundation although I think it is slightly too light for me uh, I don't know if you can you can't really see it here maybe a little bit on my neck or something but I don't like bringing foundation down here so we're not gonna do that <laughs> but um, I just wanted to test the foundation out and just see what it's about just wanted to play makeup really it's like a get ready with me video so please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel i will honestly and truly appreciate it and yeah give this video a thumbs up if you do like it let's get into the video <laughs> so starting off on a fresh face i'm going to be using my makeup uh makeup forever Did and my becca uh, primers these are my two time no favorite primers especially for the summer but for this look i made a mistake so as the wind as, as we get into the winter more and more into the winter i don't really use my becca as much because it gets um too dry for me it gets too matte for me and this will happen to me today it didn't really work well for the primer and you will see uh, for the foundation so this is the huda foundation this is what it looks like sorry i have to do a voiceover for this i was like okay the coverage is good you know good coverage and it has a scent to it so i was like oh, okay it has i can't remember what it's scented like but it has like a scent to it which sometimes foundations don't usually do have so just in case if you don't really like scented foundations this may not be so you can see why I said it's too light normally my foundation is darker than this because by the time I blend it out it will be slightly light you can see, if you compare it to the back of my hand you will see that it is slightly too light and I was like okay this is where I made the mistake with the primer I had to go back with my makeup forever smoothing primer because that's more of like a smoothing pore filler primer i mean it's not really a mattifying primer so i had to put it in, in my t-zone to help me bring back some life to it because if it's too dry what happens what ends up happening is that my foundation my makeup basically at the end of the day begins to break up like it becomes patchy which i hate and there are certain foundations that don't work with this primer for me, especially during the winter. When I'm in Nigeria, honestly, I'm fine. It was this winter I noticed it the previous winter because I noticed that my face started getting more dry. I have I have combination skin, which is horrible, <laughs> but um, that's what we do. So you can see that it is slightly too light for me. You can see the foundation on my face. Anyway, so now I'm using my Elegal Pro Concealer in Chestnut. The rest of the video, I'm just going to speed it up, especially for my face. Until we get to the eye part. But I'm just putting this, you know, in the places I want to highlight. Um, my chin, underneath my eyes, underneath my brows. Because this is where I clean up my brows, as you guys know. And I immediately blend that out because I didn't really want this to sit. Especially because, you know, I was already getting dry in my T-zone. So, yeah just blending that out this foundation is light for me <laughs> oh my gosh look at the back of my hand and look at my face dang thank god for contour contour helped me to kind of fix it but um anyways so i'm just blending that out with the beauty blender 
I'm going back and forth with the place I used to blend out my foundation which is the back if you have the real techniques brush you know the flat part that's the part I used to blend my foundation and now I'm going in with a combination of my S1 translucent powder my Laura Mercier tr translucent powders in medium and in um in translucent and also my um, black radiance true complexion powder so you want to press this in okay now I'm going to my morphe 35 OM palette and I'm just gonna contour this helped me bring some a little bit more of that brownness back to my face oh this foundation is light honey mm -hmm. maybe next time I use it I'll mix it with a darker foundation anyway so I've contoured and then I'm cleaning under that contour with my setting powder you guys know the drill you know the drill you know the drill <laughs> I'm just gonna clean that right off immediately I don't really let that sit and just take that off and then I'm gonna use my powder my beer minerals foundation powder so I guess it is like a foundation but anyways I use it as a powder because this wouldn't work for me as a foundation so I just blend my face and I use this powder because I wanted you know to bring back some brownness to my face like some darkness and you can see that I helped because if I used a lighter powder I probably wouldn't anyway so I'm contouring my nose and I'm just taking the brush I use to contour my face and I, I usually go back to recontour my face again if those of you guys who know so now I'm using this P. Louise um, eyeshadow base in 0.3 or zero three, sorry, not zero point three. Room one three. I'm just putting this all over my eyelid. I wanted this to be a very simple look, but a colorful look. So I wanted a bright eyeshadow base to help me make that pop. Going into my Zulu palette, my Juvia's Place Zulu palette. I'm taking this orange color, and you want to first start gently. You want to not blend immediately. First of all, put the product on top your eyes, and then blend you want to go it else it will be patchy because remember you don't set the eyeshadow base going into the festival palette i believe yeah the festival palette i'm going to is that the festival palette oh child i forgot honey anyway taking that darker orange i'm putting it in my crease and i'm going back to blend both of them you want to make sure you're blending properly and i'm going back again with the darker orange and i'm blending this is how you get a good blend then going into that reddish color I'm just gonna put this at the outer V of my eyes and I'm gonna sort of create like a little smoky like that, that part just the outer part will be darker you get going back with the orange or the brush of the orange and I'm blending now I'm going back to that Zulu palette and taking it that shimmery color and I'm going to use my finger to apply that shimmery color it's a very lovely champagne color i love it i love it i love it going back with that red i'm just gonna go back and blend i'm just going back and forth to blend you get the gist now i'm going into the festival palette i'm taking that uh, goldish color and putting it in the inner corners of my eyes I don't even think this was a look I had planned but anyways whatever happens when we're recording that's what we come up with so I'm just going back to blend again with that first orange I used and now I'm taking this NYX jumbo pencil that I had just gotten I really really love it this is blue color I'm like oh where have I been but I really really love it putting this in the inner part in my waterline then i've done my other eyes so i'm just gonna take that bluish color from the festival palette and i'm just gonna put it right underneath my eyes there and we're just taking that inner corner gold the same one we use and just bringing it down underneath my eyes and i'm taking my wet and wild liquid sorry this is fast guys <laughs> wet and wild liquid black eyeliner and i'm just i'm not creating a wing i hate wings <laughs> but i'm just creating this little liner so when i put my lashes it would fall in place and yes i was smiling because i was like oh, i've been using this palette in like every video now oh, i've like ditched all my other highlighters <laughs> but i really really love this sleek cosmetics highlighter and the blushes that whole palette you know so I just did under my brows and I blended that and now I'm just highlighting my face, you know the drill, my cheekbones, 
uh, my forehead, my cupids were the bridge of my nose and my chin. You want to use circular motions and you layer your highlighters. That's what I usually do. I mean, it's, it's not that it's going to be too shouty, but the layering of it gives it, you know, a bit more depth. And you start little so that way you can easily layer it and you get like a smooth blend, you know. For blushes, I'm taking those two blushes. I'll first go with the pinkish one and then the orange. So I, I skipped that part here. I mean, showing it in the video, but I did it. So I first, when I go with the blushes, I then go with the highlighter again, like just a highlighter brush or a little bit of highlighter on top of the, the, the blush. And I use the contour brush again to recontour. And I blush again so it's a process to get a good blend anyways I sprayed my face with my NYX um, setting sprays that I have not used in forever since I got my Scandinavia setting spray I have ditched <laughs> this one so you know that thing when you get good products that are working for you you literally just forget about the ones that have been your ride or die so that's what happened anyways so I use my Maybelline mascara to Put mascara on my eyes and you can see how I'm coating my lower lash line I usually do a double coat and it makes it look like I have put falsies so with my wet and wild brow pencil that I use to do my brows which I do have a video that has a detailed brow routine so check it out then I'm taking this black radiance um, lipstick oh my gosh I forgot the name but it smells so good it smells like chocolate I think it's called chocolate or is it cocoa I think it's cacao, cocoa, I don't know, but something of that sort and I love it. Like the first time I wore it, I wore it just by itself, which I hate matte lipsticks. Not like I hate them, but I, yeah, when they get patchy, but this really worked well. It wasn't patchy at all, but I wasn't feeling it with this look. So I decided to top it with my NYX Intense Butter Gloss and Tress Lashes. And it gave me this like really lovely combination. I love glosses. I don't know. It's hard for me not to put on gloss on a lipstick. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I just love glosses. Okay. And you just blend, 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 blend. You can see how that changed real quick. Okay. <laughs> like the color of the gloss. And now these are my falsies. I apply some dual fiber glue on it. And then I'm just, you know. That's why I put the liner because it helps me give like a smooth look after I put my lashes. And that is it guys. <laughs>